think she was kind of pushing boundaries and um, using public access as like this this tool um, that enabled her to like really freak out like a lot of people at once like a Seattle icon a pop, like a like a cult a, a cult icon yeah definitely I've always wanted to be famous which is embarrassing to even say but it's true ever since I was about four I've wanted to be famous going to be Goddess Kring. My name is Shannon Kringen. I am a experimental improvisational person. I rarely did reruns, so I technically I was on the air from 96 all the way until 2010, a 28-minute video every week for, is that 14 years? Or I started doing the public access TV show because I was... Um, I thought I was too shy, like I wanted to be on a show, but I thought, well, I'm too shy. And then they told me, well, you can just make a video and bring it. And I thought, oh, I can just like be alone in my apartment and make a video and put it on. That's great. And so I tried it. Dagger grabs me. Tom Petty widens my jetty. Tori Amos the first time I saw myself on TV, I was like, oh my God, this is amazing. I thought, wow, this is cool. And bada boom, bada bing. I just instantly got hooked. I'm like, oh my God, I can actually make something and put it on and my shyness doesn't stop me. Anybody, you know, channel surfing could watch me if they wanted to. And I was wondering how many, how many people are actually going to watch me, I wonder. When I first started doing my show, I got a lot of feedback right away and I was sort of amazed. Part of me was just shocked that, oh my gosh, they're actually listening and watching and this is amazing. And then I think I got kind of... Um, addicted almost addicted to the getting feedback and I walk oh more feedback just keep giving me feedback and it was so 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 fun and I feel so normal when I do this Woo! and then it occurred to me that I since I'm a figure model and I'm nude anyway I thought oh, I wonder if I could just be nude and I also knew strategically that if people were channel surfing and they saw a nude person on TV they'd be like what and they would probably stop and watch my favorite um, feedback actually was from women who said that because I'm not skinny, they, they saw me and they're like, wow, you make me feel better about my curves. I like to think I represent that every single person is unique and has some kind of special thing and that you, we don't need to be ashamed of that. I think she was the first woman that I ever saw naked. But yeah, I heard she had like a love triangle with like Courtney Love and Kurt Cobain. I don't know if that's just a... I mean, I, I just heard that. I don't know. I just remember being like an 11 year old boy and thinking this is the first time I'm seeing boobs. Hers were probably some of the first boobs I ever saw. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. I remember watching her show all the time when I was in high school. And um, she was naked in every single episode and she had painted flowers all over. And one of the things that bothers me is, is that some people still think of me as, oh, she's the naked lady from TV. There's a, there's a line in one of my poems that's, <laughs> that goes, typecast by dragon sleeps. Monkey moon coming soon. I'll explain what that means. It means when I feel kind of trapped when I think the audience thinks of me as the naked lady or the weirdo psycho babble lady. Of my soul, and hopefully it'll help you. Uh, From the 90s, that bothers me too, because the 90s were a long time ago, and I've done tons of videos since the 90s. That's I've done 10 years worth of videos after the 90s were over. Hello, hello, hi Katie. And I have, you know, challenges, but I'm I feel like I can handle my challenges and learn from them. This is Goddess Kring saying I retire forever. This is my last show and I never want to do this ever again as long as I live. I've been doing this show every week for 14 years and 
I have no idea how many people actually watch. I think I used to have a lot of viewers when I was naked. I feel like my show is a combination of artistic expression, but also just just video diary, you know, documenting the life of Shannon Kringen kind of a thing. Um, and I have mixed feelings about that, and yet I keep doing it, and part of me wants to take a break from it. And I'm like 43, that's pretty weird, but there's part of me that I feel like I'm stuck at age nine. So I guess this, that's the cycle I'm in. Is like maybe letting go of my past and let my all my silly baggage, and clearing room for to really be alive and not worry about all that self-conscious stuff that I worry about, and also self-acceptance and self-love, because I tend to think it's narcissist. I'm afraid to fully indulge and accept myself because I tend to think, well, that's narcissistic. And then I started missing it, and, and actually I know that I need to start doing it again. I started like venting on my bike and almost doing sort of monologues while I ride my bike. And actually I have had people on the street go, hey, you got a screen, when I'm like screaming and I'm like really embarrassed by that. So they, yeah. So I know that obviously I need an outlet. If I'm doing that, I have all this stuff that obviously wants to come out of me. So I may as well just turn the camera on and do a monologue.